Okay guys, so here we are in Longview, Texas at a place called Longview Scrap, I think. I picked up here once before and I was over, over in that area. The front of the place and the scale is out there. You can see what we're getting, kind of bales of product again. I hope this uh, works out where I've got some room to go in my front door here. That would help. A work order said I was getting bushling, but when they saw what kind of trailer I had, they decided to give me these bales. So they said this trailer would be better for the bales. So somebody else is going to get the bushlings, which is probably that pile right there. But this goes to the new core plant up in Fort Smith, Arkansas. As you can see, he's loading this for the magnet crane. Hopefully these will be positioned a little better than that last load I got. You know, which they should be, because he can control this better with the magnet, position them better. That last guy in Oklahoma City was just using a front end loader grabber just dumping them in there. So this will be able to kind of pack them in better, I would think. Because I'm still going to have to... Yeah, he's getting them pretty tight up in there. I probably won't be able to open that front door. So uh, I'll have to climb up the back and then work my way to the front. Get all the bows put back in. Plus, I've been... This tarp, there's something wrong with this tarp. Every time I roll it back over, the front of the tarp will not stay up on the metal lip of the trailer. So I have to climb up there from back here and put the tarp in the right place before I tighten it up. That's kind of a pain in the butt. So just giving you a look. At least I'll be delivering this to a familiar spot. I think I said Nucor, Fort Smith. I meant to say Gerdau. It's the Gerdau plant I'm going to, where I used to pick up all the time for Maverick. So they uh, take all this scrap metal and convert it into steel bars, and Maverick calls them all over the country. So, just giving you a look at how this works. So you get the idea that's how it works i'll try to show you what it looks like getting out of here um i think what i'll do is because they wanted me to take this fork to the left and then i had to kind of pull up that way and back into this position but to get out of here and back to the scale i think i'll uh, make a right there and just go along the building there and then i'll have to make a turn onto the scale problem is they got they got two gates to this place and the gate on this side which is the preferred way in because there's more turning room it's closed now because they're out there doing some welding on it all right so you get the idea all right folks welcome to thursday morning it's about 7 40 I'm arriving here in Fort Smith, Arkansas, about a mile from the entrance to the Gerdau plant. Those of you that have followed me for a while know that uh, I used to come up here to a different side of the Gerdau plant as a Maverick flatbed driver and pick up steel bars very often. But now, driving for Oakley, I bring in raw materials. So I've got this load I picked up yesterday down in Longview, Texas, and it's very similar to the load that I picked up Tuesday morning in Oklahoma City. You know, it's kind of a bailed metal. So I'm 
we're coming in from the south usually uh, coming in as a Maverick driver I would come in from the north you can see the blue and yellow sign up here to the right that's Planters Road if I was going over to the Maverick facility I would turn right there but for raw materials entrance, we're going to go on up here a little ways. And I'll show it to you. Don't know where I'm going after this. All right, as we top this hill, you can see the entrance here to the right. Another Gerdau sign. It says scrap delivery and slag pickup. All right. Sun's gonna be in our eyes now. So I don't, I'm gonna do is stop here prior to getting on the scale and roll my tarp off. They like you to have your tarp off when you get on the scale so they can see what you're hauling. Then we'll hop on the scale and go check in there at the window. And he'll tell us where to dump. All right, morning minute. All right, so I got checked in. Just took uh, three or four minutes. They do make you put on your uh, safety gear here. So I had to get my hard hat, long sleeve shirt, and he told me I'm unloading at area S51. I'll just give you a look of this. Hadn't been here in a while. As an Oakley driver, uh, sometimes we pick up mill scale here from this entrance also and deliver it down to uh, the cement company in, I think it's Foreman, Arkansas. And I've delivered several loads of scrap metal here also. This is my first load of this particular type of scrap. All right, speed limit's five, so I better slow down a little. All right, so if you're getting meal scale out of here, you'll stop right here and then go over to this little uh, gray building to the left, check in, and then you'll turn to the left and go back there and load. But we're unloading scrap. So, we're supposed to turn right. And then I believe he said we would go over four sets of railroad tracks. And then hang a left. There are a lot of railroad tracks here, so let's try to count them. I've delivered over in this area once before. Okay. So we're going to make this left turn. And S51 should be here to the left. He said they'd be labeled. Uh, let's see what see I'm just showing you what it looks like lots of different bins okay okay s51 is right here to my left so uh, let me uh, pull over here and uh, get ready and then somebody will probably come over here and kind of 
tell me exactly what they want me to do. Okay guys, so I finished dumping. There's my load right there and the magnet crane guy has already come over and started moving it into the pile. See, there's, there's the trailer dumped out pretty clean. So, um, all right, let me get, get uh, to work here. You gotta go down there and turn around and come back out this way. All right, okay. So I uh, got turned around back there. Trying to head out. Just called the dispatcher. He told me to head to Muskogee. Get the load that goes back to Houston. Thursday morning about 8.20, if I go to Muskogee and pick up, I don't know, I'm starting to, I'm, I'm seeing this as me getting home on a Saturday, which would be okay, you know, it's a holiday week, although I left out on Monday, I only drove about uh, five and a half hours. And I've been off for a long time, so that's that's fine. So we'll see what happens. I wonder if I'm going back to that same place in Houston. I don't know. He hasn't sent me the order yet. So I've still got my tarp off. I have had to climb up in the trailer because one of my bows had come loose. So I've still got to scale out, get my paperwork. They'd like you to leave your tarp off so they can see inside the trailer, make sure you're empty. And then once I scale out, get my paperwork, I'll pull off and get my tarp put back on. Head to Muskogee. Okie from Muskogee. Well, that's a look at how things work here at the Gerdau Mill in Fort Smith. After this fella pulls away, I'll get on the scale. And then they got a little room up front there, not a lot, but you, you can pull off to the side and re-tarp and get your trip planned and all, so. All right, see you in the scope.